G'day guys, it's Monday today, I think about the 2nd of February, the 2nd or 3rd of February, so I'm going on another road trip today fellas, so I'm just stopping off at the my local rubbish dump again. Today's Monday, so this is when they drop off the household rubbish waste, we'll see if there's any, maybe a pile of goodies, I don't know, or oh, there could be some good stuff guys, I don't know, I'm kind of glad I came, because they come out here very shortly and they'll bulldoze all this into a big hole, you can see in the distance. So, like I say guys, we're going to do another road trip today, it's going to be really really hot, 34 degrees Celsius, I'm taking just Banjo and Sophie, and Cindy can stay home, she's getting too old guys, um, too hot for her, um, but anyway, so we'll have a quick look here guys, um, old stuff, I'm just doing a clear out by the looks of it, who knows, I might find something interesting guys, a bit of scrap metal, nice old relics, Always keep an eye out for the old tins, guys. They're really, really collectible. The old shell uh, fuel tins. I have got one at home I found the other day, but unfortunately it's dented. But I'll show you, hopefully, if I remember, when I do my road trip wrap-up. So, uh, yeah. So, anyway, we'll have a quick look underneath this pole, guys. So, like I say, I'm going to three rubbish dumps today. And we'll end up coming back to this rubbish dump at the end of the day. And who knows, he might find some goodies. Got lots of farmers just sold their farm guys and they're doing a big clear um, a big clear up. So I have been finding some good stuff. Oh I'll grab those guys for the garden for growing our uh, seedlings. So I hope to do my wrap up. I'll start uploading some good videos tomorrow guys when I get back from my road trip so here's stuff what I found yesterday what I just pulled out I should really start even collecting these cords guys because they're always you know put them in little plastic bags sell them at the markets but I've got no motivation to do it my mate Dave does that here's something I found yesterday a nice old Sanyo Sanyo tape deck recorder guys should I take that what do you reckon? I might as well, guys. I'll, I'll take it. I shouldn't, but it's small and I'll box it up with all my other goodies. Like I say, guys, Monday today, so this is a my whole my hometown, Gumby Young's rubbish dump. I don't go through these bags, guys, and what that, you know, desperate, but I guarantee you there would be good stuff in there. People do their clean outs on the weekends and they check out collectibles and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, tennis racket guys, it's, I'll scrap that as aluminium, just cut off the handle, it might be graphite, I don't know, yeah I think that, unsure guys, no it's aluminium, I can see silver, so good scrap tip for you guys, tennis rackets, aluminium, um, but yeah, so like, this is a Dumble Young household waste guys, so all the town suit garbage truck comes on um, Mondays and picks up everyone's household waste in their, you know, the big wheelie, wheelie bins, the green bins. I'll grab that, I won't grab that vacuum, but I'll, I'll take out that cord so that's nice and long. Oh, bit of scrap here, aluminium guys, an old truck mirror. Toilets, always keep an eye out for these guys. Sometimes they've got copper on the ends or copper and brass, it's plastic. So I'm also looking for garden stuff guys when I do my scrap runs. Stuff for my gardening. It's in this bag. So if I see an open bag like this guys, I do open it. I don't open it, but I empty it. Because anyway, nothing there. No, doesn't look like guys. Nothing here. No. 
see if there's any goodies on the side of this uh also guys i found some beautiful ray-ban glasses out here yesterday i'm actually wearing another pair right now what i found always find beautiful expensive sunglasses guys what usually happens is their mums will clean out the kids cupboards when the kids go to boarding school and so forth or the kids get older and their parents or their mum usually will do a big clean out and toss out all the kids goodies I remember my mum used to do that guys I used to get so upset about it well, there's, there's a nice tin there but yeah mum used to clean out my stuff and chuck out all my childhood memories my toys and I uh, used to get really really upset guys I had some beautiful kids toys so I like finding videotapes so not these but guys the ones what I've pre-recorded you know the VCRs we record all the home home uh, TV shows for the commercials so I'll show you all my videotapes as well soon in the next few days so anyway guys we'll come back here nothing really I can see I always just keep an eye out for aluminium pots and pans uh, scrap and also treasures what people throw out and uh, yeah, sometimes I find some really nice stuff too, guys. But like I say, all of these bags, guys, I don't open open them, but guarantee you there would be some good stuff in there, fellas. All right, fellas, so I'm taking off today. It's about nearly 11 o'clock in the afternoon, so I'll go home now, make myself a, a bit of lunch to take with me. A nice ham, cheese, and hot English mustard sandwich. Been eating those lately. And yeah, that'll be my lunch for the day, a couple of nice peaches. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll find some goodies, guys. So stay tuned, fellas. In the next couple of days, I'll upload some good videos. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow when I start uploading my videos. All right, have a good night, guys, wherever you are. See ya. Really, really hot here today. Bye, guys. G'day guys, so we're just heading to the cook and rubbish dump. Hopefully you find some good stuff guys, I haven't been here for about a week, so hopefully you might find a bit of scrap metal. Man, man, man Joe's barking because he knows where he is. He always barks whenever I turn into this dump and all the other dumps, he just knows where we are. So hopefully guys will have a good trip today. Then after we go to, after here, we'll go to uh, Tin Curran and uh, Tara Smith. Anyway, that's the metal dump, guys. Doesn't look that promising. We'll come back here last. We'll go down to the household waste section and also the garden section, see if there's any good gardening stuff for my uh, garden. Nice pots there. All right, guys. All right, it's been bulldozed. No, it hasn't. That's good. Well, it has been bulldozed, but there's a little bit of stuff here, guys. Might have to climb up the top of that pole and see if there's any other goodies. All right, it's nice wood here, fellas. Some nice wood. A little bit of aluminium there. Extrusion aluminium. Look at this beautiful wood here. There, another tennis racket, aluminium. Let's grab that. And we'll see what else is here, guys. Anyway, I'll load up that wood there in the back of the trailer. And see what else we can find, guys. Esky there. It's going to be damaged. Might not be, guys. Might not be. These eskies always come in handy. Look at that. Beautiful esky. Another tennis racket. Uh, perfect fellas, exactly what I need too, these to keep my lunch and that cool. So that esky is in beautiful condition guys, he's coming handy for camping and so forth. Alright, let's load this stuff guys. G'day guys, Billy here. Well, I'm out the cooking rubbish dump at the moment guys, so I just scored a heap of beautiful floorboards here. This is exactly what I need fellas. 
My uh, kitchen floor is uh, crap. I've ripped up all the lino, or the vinyl lino, a couple of years ago. It's horrible guys, really, really horrible. And look at this beautiful wood here guys, this is going to be perfect for my kitchen floor, I reckon. Possibly, I reckon that'll be... Hopefully, it might be enough there to uh, put some beautiful uh, liner, that, some floorboards on top of my uh, kitchen floor. So, just amazing guys, the stuff what I find, you know, it saves me a fortune doing this scrapping and trash and treasure, finding some good stuff. So, yeah, so anyway, guys, I'm out the cooking rubbish dump at the moment, and there's some good stuff here aluminium, tennis rackets. Uh, other goodies guys, a bit of extrusion aluminium there, tennis rackets, a nice esky I've just scored, and so forth guys, and we'll see what else is in here, hopefully find some goodies, I think I might jump up on top of that pole there and we might find something. Alright guys, and also some nice boxes there, some nice removal boxes that I'll grab for uh, packing up my trash and treasure goodies, and look at this beautiful, oh no. It's not that beautiful, just a piece of wood there, kitchen bench, but anyway, we'll keep going guys. So, we're at Cochrane at the moment, we're heading off to uh, Harris Smith in Tinkaran right now, as soon as I go through here and pick up any other goodies. Alright guys, thanks for watching, see you tomorrow when I do my road trip videos. Yes guys, I just picked up uh, some extrusion and my hand got caught on this box, you're not going to believe it fellas, look at this. All beautiful tiles. All beautiful tiles there, guys. Some of them are, there's a couple broken, but they're all brand new tiles. Look at that. Take those, guys. Once again, exactly what I need. My bathroom uh, tiles in my bathroom are coming off. So, it's nice tiles there. I'll grab them, guys. Might be able to fix up my bathroom floor tiles. They find good food as well guys, so I just found a couple of packets of nice biscuits, rice crackers, some nuts, marshmallows, don't want those, but I'll take these guys, snacks for the dogs and so forth, and yeah, it's amazing the amount of good food and stuff I find guys, not just food, you know, really good toiletries and everything. I've just got three mystery boxes here. I'm unsure what's in them, but they're sealed. Don't they? Could, I don't know what's in there, guys. Who knows? So there's this one, that one, and this box. So there could be some goodies in there, guys. What does that say? Who knows? We'll take them home, eh? And we'll do a separate video unboxing them. They might be just junk, but could be some good stuff in there, guys. Three mystery boxes. Love finding the old mystery boxes. Alright guys, we'll continue going out cook and dump at the moment. Found some good stuff so far guys, so stay tuned, you'll see it very shortly. Alright fellas, so still out the cook and dump. Garden waste section guys, see if there's any goodies. This is an unusual plant. Let's see so guys. The seed pods on them. Anyone know what type of plant this is? I might grab some, maybe someone can help me identify, I'll grab these seed pods guys, might be a nice tree to grow, I don't know. Very unusual, I've never seen seed pods like that before, obviously not a native species of uh, Australia. Anyway guys, always love looking at the greenway section, you find good stuff for the garden, like this here. Look at this guys, exactly what I need. A plastic bird bath. Beautiful guys. Beautiful, look at that. It's only plastic but still nice way to attract birds to your garden. I've already got heaps of nice bird baths in my yard, but that's a nice score. It's a nice uh forget what these are called guys. I've actually got these growing in my garden but but yeah it's a nice uh species of a plant. It's nice what else to see you guys? Nice garden rocks there for the ponds, but I hate seeing this netting fellas because this is horrible. I hate bird netting guys because you know why? Have a think about it. 
What do you reckon? Because snakes and animals get stuck in this. Birds, bats, etc. will fly or crawl into this bird netting and uh, end up dying. So we'll chuck it down there, guys. Just leave it hanging up. A bat might fly or a bird. You can already see feathers in it where a bird's already been caught. See the little feather in there? Really despise bird netting, guys, even though it does a good job. Just hate it because it does, it kills animals. I have come across heaps of snakes and goannas and so forth stuck in bird netting. Anyway, we'll chuck this in the back of the truck. These pots, guys, especially the concrete ones. That's a nice pot, that one. I'll take it. It's plastic, but just a nice, good pot. What else is around? We'll go to the scrap metal section, eh? Don't think there's much there. Hot day today guys, 35 degrees Celsius plus. G'day fellas, this is the second attempt now of trying to upload a bloody video. I stuffed up on the last video guys, and I'm making this bloody video again. It's hot, really hot guys. But anyway fellas, I've done pretty well today. Uh, sorry about that last video, I can't <laughs> privatise it at the moment because I'm away from home. Anyway, you can have a laugh at me and see maybe what my dreadlocks look like guys, I've still got them. But I've scored some good stuff today, fellas. Uh, three mystery boxes. They're heavy. They've definitely got good stuff in there, guys. Um, they could actually be DVDs, maybe. They might be just empty DVD cases, guys, so I can't promise you. But this one's really heavy. This one's quite light. And there's another one there. So who knows what's in there, guys? We'll soon find out. I'll do an opening of these three boxes and my other mystery boxes at home and do one big video on that. But anyway, fellas, I was just walking around the back of the scrap metal pole and at the back of the garden waste section at the cook and rubbish dump. And I found this beautiful old RNI bank sign, guys. So RNI Bank was one of the original uh, banks in West Australia, dating back to the early 1800s. This sign here would be from the 1920s, I'd say. So it would have come from one of the old shops in Cookran where they've pulled out a door or something and thrown the door with the beautiful old sign still attached. It's only a painted sign guys but still a beautiful nice old relic of cooker and and look at this beautiful grinding stone I just found fellas. It's uh what is it? A A Ken A Kenrick and Sons West Bromwich number one. So A Kenrick and Sons West Bromwich Number one, so obviously it's come all the way from England. Beautiful old grinding stone, guys, with the handle on it. And so much more in beautiful condition, hardly been used. So, yeah, I've got a few of these at home, but I've never found one complete like this. So it's a beautiful old grinding stone for tools and so forth, guys. So that's an absolute awesome score. And a nice little bird bath I just found too. And a few goodies in the back of the truck. So, yeah, guys, like I was just saying before, I just love rescuing this kind of stuff from uh, these rubbish dumps. It's just amazing the amount of stuff what farmers throw out, all the beautiful relics and so forth. And yeah, I just love finding stuff because, you know, I was just saying before in my other video I tried to do, that one of the reasons I love doing this is um, not just because it's great to get away from home for the day, but, you know, some of the beautiful old antiques and so forth and vintage era relics and stuff and electrical stuff and all the other amazing old antique and vintage era goodies that I find will hopefully provide for me when I you know if I make it to my 70s when I become a proper pensioner guys so that's one of the reasons I love doing this so I can provide for myself when I when times are really really tough and also scrapping you know I love doing my scrap metal and uh, and uh, yeah, that just pays all my toys, metal detectors, and you know, so much more. So I've got a little bit of scrap there, guys. So yeah, no, I had a good trip so far, fellas. So we got another, another 100, 150 k's to go. Two more rubbish dumps, Harris Smith and Tin Tin Curran. Heard some rumours also that someone's done a big clean up out Tin Curran way and apparently they've been dumping a heap of goodies out the Tin Curran dump so maybe you might find some nice stuff. So really really hot right now guys, just gone probably about one o'clock in the afternoon and uh, so we'll take off and head over to Harris Smith and Tin Curran and hopefully find some more goodies guys. 
All right, thanks for watching, guys. Have a laugh at my last video. I can't wait to get home and privatise it. Okay, fellas, see ya. Guys, well, I'm going out.